Right, so this is the section where it's teaching you about the um, the dark buttholes. Oh, that was Onslaught. That was Onslaught. So now you've killed him. Oh, job level go, up. Go, go and kill your butthole. Go and kill the butthole. Quick. Quick, oh, this? Yeah, go get it. Quick. It's going to keep spawning enemies if you don't kill it. The darkness is coming out of the butthole. Oh, oh yeah, you're you were right. You were oh, right. look, a giant goblin guard. He's bigger than the rest of them. Oh, that was going to happen when I, when I ran up to it, wasn't it? You it just sure wanted was. me to get hit by yeah, it. Yeah, remember about potions. Hello, welcome back to Great Scott Gamers. My name's Dave. My name's Mark. And today, I hope you're ready for some chaos. We're here to kill chaos. We're going to kill it. It's Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin version trial. That's, Should that's I change the language to Japanese too? No. <laughs> New game. God damn it. Now, which difficulty would you like? Would you like super duper hard, super duper normal, or super duper easy? Uh, standard mode for players looking to enjoy battles and strategy. A hard mode for players looking to take on tough enemies. You can also obtain stronger equipment with some limitations. <laughs> An easy mode for players who want to breeze through the story. Let's go for normal. Let's yeah. go for normal. I like how we went through that as if we were ever going to pick anything else. I know. I know. We're all, we're more normally we're, we're normies when it comes to we difficulty. So yeah, this game was announced last week um, by Square Enix at the E3 Expo. And, uh, oh, you're in a field of wheat market. It's the golden field. Oh, bruh. Bruh. So, uh, oh, was that spinning slash? Nice. You did it. You have to move the camera, Marky. This is a tutorial. I forgot this was Oh, it. sorry. I'm going to, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, wait, okay. go to the orange thing. Go to the orange thing. Wait, it's all orange. It's no, a wheat shoot. It's a wheat It's all orange thing. Uh, go, there's an orange thing there. So, yeah, this, that's basic controls, Marky. Learn. So, while you're learning, I can talk about it. So, this is, um, a demo for the new game that's coming. That's a goblin. It's coming out next year, I think, or well, we don't actually know when it's coming out, but um, the demo released the day after uh, they announced it. Uh, press circle. Oh no, you can't. It's not taught you to do that yet. Um, and it's so weird because it's not like, oh, he's going to throw mints at you. <laughs> he's coming yes, at you with his yes. mincer. Oh, there um, we go. There you go. You did it. You critical hit him. I did, from behind. From behind. I like doing it from Basic behind. controls. Right, go find the orange blob again. There it is. Um, and it's uh, it's a Dark Souls Final Fantasy game. Break enemies by depleting the yellow gauge above their heads. Approach broken enemies and press circle to finish them off with a soul burst. Yeah, man. Slaying enemies with a soul burst will help you recover your MP and raise your max MP. Effective use of soul bursts will ensure your action abilities are ready when you need them. That's a lie. Press R2 to expend MP and use an icon ability, an action ability, an icon ability, you can use an icon to, ability to, to, deal, to deal heavy HP and break your break damage to your foe. There are two types of action abilities. R2 activates your job unique action and pressing R2 during a normal attack, R1, triggers a combo ability. Yeah, right. so it's like Dark Souls in the R1 and R2 are the sort of main attacks. R1's your regular attack and R2 unleashes a uh, special ability that you need MP to use so MP is used for special abilities as well as um, so press circle, press circle there you go, that's your soul burst nice. you literally turn them into crystals and you absorb them and now your maximum H uh, MP is just increased sweet um, so uh, the game's all about like you can read this hold circle to deplete your break gauge and adopt the soul shield stance this stance can be extended by keeping circle held down Blocking an attack in this stance will trigger Soul Shield, staggering surrounding enemies and dealing break damage. It will it will also restore MP and increase your max MP. Press R1 after a successful block to take a big step forward and unleash a normal attack. One step forward for man. Kind. So yeah, there's two blocks in this game. There's Circle, which is your Soul Shield, and there's L1, which is your regular block. You can regular block... Um, regular attacks and you will take no damage but magic can't be blocked with a regular block you need to use soul shield the problem is that so this is the thing i've got the well because i've played this i've, I've finished it already so we're, mark's giving it a shot because he hasn't actually played it so yeah. you're he's just broken your 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 break gauge so you're you're yeah. vulnerable yeah. and you might want to use a potion yeah, yeah. um use mints you we shape yeah use mints you should press r3 to lock onto him. that's a really good idea yeah. use mints We'll use mints. Attack him. Oh wait, oh, stop moving then and he'll attack you. you. You're supposed to be blocking him. You can block his regular attacks as well. Yeah, but I, I mean normal block isn't going to work. Cause... No, you should be using circle. Yeah, I know, but... So wait wait till he attacks and then press circle. There you go. There we go, got it. And then press circle. Oh, you... Fine. 
You're supposed to soul break them. Well, I didn't. Okay. I didn't do that. Go get your tutorial. I didn't do that. So there's quite a lot. This is so different to any other Final Fantasy game. If Soul Shield is triggered by an enemy ability with a purple name, that ability will become usable as an instant ability. Activate instant abilities by pressing square. Instant abilities do not consume MP, but their number of uses is limited. Use them wisely. Ah. <laughs> he got you. So yeah, stone throw. Lock on. And press circle when he throws your st his stone. Uh, it doesn't. Your soul shield doesn't last forever, so you need to time it correctly. Also use a potion. He's laughing at me. He, he is laughing at you because you're sucking at it. Right, you threw a stone at him. Throw, throw it again. Throw it again. Right, and then go and get him. Go and get him. Go press circle. Press circle. Yeah. So soul break kills him instantly. Um, or soul burst, whatever it's called. Um, so bananas. So bananas. So yeah, you you want to break his his gauge. When you have one or more full MP gauges, press L2 and circle to consume one MP gauge and activate Lightbringer. Lightbringer. While Lightbringer is active, you deal increased break damage to enemies and their gate their max gate their max, ba their max break gauge, gauge <laughs> <laughs> is reduced when you hit them. I kept wanting to read gauge before anything else. Yeah, you um, did. When they reduce to zero uh, zero HP, you will be granted effects equal to soul burst. Activating Lightbringer. Uh, changes the break gauge into a special gauge that depletes over time or when hit. Lightbringer ends when the gauge is fully depleted. Jack cannot be broken. Jack? That's his name. Cannot cannot be broken. It's, well, Ali Jack. It's the well, uh, antagonist for John uh, Sephiroth. <laughs> well, uh, Barry Clyde. Well, uh, Lightbringer is active, making it particularly useful when the break gauge is nearly empty. Right, okay. Yeah, that's a lot of information. So basically, Lightbringer is like a super strong uh, mode where you can't be broken. Um, it's so it's t telling you to use it or encouraging you to use it. It's press circle. Yeah, um, encourages you to use it when your break gauge is already low because it gives you another full gauge to, to play with. Defeat all goblins. Use another soul break. Soul burst or whatever it's called. Break him. Break his gauge. I did. I so broke about, him. So this game's a lot about breaking, right? It's it's about breaking posture and like, killing. So I think it's got a Sekiro... Ghost of Tsushima, you know, kind of feel to it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's Team Ninja. They made Sekiro, didn't they? Uh, Team Ninja made a shit ton of games, and yeah. I can't remember if one of them was Sekiro I think or not. It was like I remember. Okay, so you finished the tutorial. Right, yeah, let's leave the area. Let's do that. I forgot that this existed. So, I mean, you know, it's helpful to know how to play. It sure is. And I know how to lock on and how to use my fucking lock. block. It's gonna ruin our progression though. Wall splat, I missed that. You did miss the wall splat. Oh, Proceed. No. It's time it's time it's time, Marky! Oh, oh I'm here to kill chaos. I'm here to kill chaos. Let's, let's listen because this is hilarious. This is the best intro to a game I've ever seen. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh he's got the thingy. He's oh. gonna activate the door, Marky. Dude, he's the warrior of like He is. Look at all those skulls on that. And look at his two companions who are, who have like fantasy armor, and he's just wearing a shirt and. Looks like chaos. Has been <laughs> oh my god! Are you gonna make us go in there and find you? I mean, yeah. Guess we'll just show ourselves in. Yeah. Guess Why not? We will. Chaos isn't gonna mind if we just waltz into his castle. So which one of these is uh, who's fighter? I guess an fighter because he's supposed to be the main guy. So that's it. Like Jack's fighter. We're talking about that. Jack has fighter. So go and activate that weird-looking thing. Is that a bonfire? It might be a bonfire. It's, it's also Can't very it's not a bonfire. It's a cube, but it's very rem reminiscent of the spheres from Final Fantasy X. So it restores your HP and MP, refills your potions. If your max MP was lower than your initial MP, it'll be restored as well. Doing so will revive it. It's a bonfire. Yeah. It is a bonfire. It's a bonfire. But okay. it's a cube. It also lets you change your stuff, but you can do that in the menu as well. Abandoned mission. <laughs> I, know, I don't know why Abandon it gives you that choice. There's only one mission. So yeah, we were talking about this before, like, it seems like this is like a reimagining of the first Final Fantasy game, mm. or like, maybe it's meant to be set before, because these guys refer to themselves as the Warriors of Light, Yes. which is which were the, the characters in Final Fantasy 1, they didn't have names, they were just their jobs, so like Warrior, White Mage, Black Mage, Thief, um, was Red Mage one? And, Red Mage was one. And, because uh, there were six, was there not? There was a bunch of different ones, yeah, you had Thief Fighter... Um, Black Mage, Red Mage, Monk. Oh, Monk was the other one. Um, right, so great swords are your basically your what you're using right now. It's just telling you how to use a great sword. All right, okay, well then uh, I kind of know that. Yeah. 
Um, but there are different weapons in the game. You will unlock later on as you move on. But look how dark and dingy it is. It's so not Warriors of Lighty. It's Warriors of Darky. Yeah, you're not wrong. You know what I mean? Like Warriors so of weird. Darkness. Warriors of Darkness. Don't forget to crush them. You want to build up that MP gauge because you're going to need it. Mints? Yeah, he's mincing them. But your so your companions are kind of helpful. Remember, your special abilities use MP, so you can't. Oh, you're leveled up. You can learn abilities in the oh, ability nice. tree. Uh... Press the options button. And go to job trees. And that's the longest way you could do, do to do that. <laughs> right, okay. So it's just level, telling you you can level up with job points. Right. So you currently only have swordsman available. But if you unlock onslaught, that's a combo ability. Mm. So if you unlock it, and then uh, it's just telling you you can equip it. So press X, and then it'll take you into your menu, and you can equip it into a combo slot. Um, it specifically can only go into the first one. So if you change the raging slash on the first one... Uh, to one slot. Is it better than Region Slash? Yeah, it's different to Region Slash. So, um, you can you see on the left there, like, R one and R two going into R two gives you one slot, but R one R one into R two gives mm -hmm. you Region Slash. Right. So it's basically you can change your combos. Okay. Um, oh, so they would all have been Region Slash yes, otherwise. Yes, okay. exactly. Because you've only got Region Slash from the beginning, but now you've got one slot. Right. So R one R two is one slot, and R one anything else is still Region Slash. Okay. Um, oh. Remember, stone throw can be blocked with circle, and you then can learn it as an instant ability. Oh. He did not dodge the way I thought he was going to. Yeah, they really do. Right, Ready. so this is on. Oh no, I can't do it. You have no MP, remember? So that's part of it. You're gonna have to keep breaking people and uh, absorbing their souls. Definitely not like a game I can. Uh, can yeah, recognize. I'm gonna have to absorb their dark souls. Their dark souls, yeah. Because they're definitely not light souls. The Warriors of Light are taking the Dark Souls. Oh, Twilight Tunic? Yeah. So now you can change out your regular clothes. Battle settings. Really? Yeah. Battle settings. It's a weird... Yeah. And now it's just telling you can equip it. Uh, right, okay. So I'm guessing Stranger's clothes can now be light The Twilight Tunic. Yeah. Yeah, look at, so look at look the sparkle. It. It's so much better. Yeah. Like, it's so funny because the entire uh, the entire video that they showed at E3 was just Jack wearing his like, normal man clothes. But he actually does get some pretty cool equipment. So it is a Final Fantasy game after all. Yeah. Right, so this is the section where it's teaching you about the um, the dark buttholes. Oh, that was Onslaught. That was Onslaught. So now you've killed him. Oh, job level go and, up. Go, go and kill your butthole. Go and kill the butthole. Quick. quick like this? It. Yeah, go get it. Quick. It's going to keep spawning enemies if you don't kill it. The darkness is coming out of the butthole. Oh, oh yeah, you're you. right. You're right. Oh, look, a giant goblin guard. He's bigger than the rest of them. Oh, that was going to happen when I, when I ran up to it, wasn't it? You it just sure wanted was. me to get hit by yeah, it. Yeah, remember about potions? down on the d-pad it's not square in this game that's really weird so i played through the entire game with the uh the the button combinations that it starts you with and i actually think i could have done a lot better if it had, it had been laid out the same as dark souls <laughs> yeah you're not wrong so i got mp back for doing that there didn't i you did not i didn't okay uh you get mp back for blocking with circle or for soul crushing the enemy or whatever it's called. I call it Soul Crush. Soul Break. Yeah. Soul Blast. So like I, that? Yeah. You got a little bit of MP back, but now it's dra drained to use your special ability. And now you'll get more back because you killed him with the Soul Break. Crush. Okay, and there's a... Yeah, I would kill that. And you have to Soul Break it. Circle. Yeah. Nice. Nice. You did it? You killed the Dark I Bottle of, oh, of Destiny? Oh, me go. You killed Chaos? Not really. Nice go, and, go and pick up the uh, Great Sword that fell out of the enemy that you killed. Oh, I did... Oh, so it's a dark vent that looks like a dark butthole. It does look like a dark butthole, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, so you got a new greatsword that's stronger than your current one. Battle sentence. Yeah, battle sentence. Don't, don't forget about the battle sentence. Ah, so all your physical attack and your magic attack will go up. Yeah, and so it didn't... remember your job trees, you can upgrade your, your character oh. again. Oh, did I? You got it. Oh, wrong thing. That is the wrong thing. So you can increase your strength. So I can only increase my strength, I can't increase my or spin can, and slash you master. You can wait and get another job point to increase spin and slash if you want, but I would I would probably increase your strength so you can do more damage. Yeah, damage, 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 damage. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Because Wobbuffet. fit. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. What? That was such an Listen here, John Sephiroth. Listen to me, John Sephiroth. Oh, dash. Ooh. You can dash just like in every other game. Oh, look. Oh, it's a, it's a bonfire. Yeah, so guess what will always spawn once you touch it. Nice. But you get all your potions back. I would go down there if there's a treasure chest. Uh, a tre don't, don't fall off the stairs though, that takes you a back. A treasure chest? A treasure chest. 
Oh, you, do- you dodge, Marky? I you did. Oh, look at me go. X is dodge, by the way. Did the game teach you that? It did, like during the tutorial. Okay, X is dodge, and if you double tap it, you do a roll. Okay, I want to roll That's in. a tutorial. Really? It's not the same as the original tutorials. Magic attacks? Yeah. So magic, this is what I was telling you what I was telling you earlier on. You can't block magic, it'll still do damage. But if you use, if you sidestep it, you don't take damage, obviously. But if you use the, your circle block, right then you, time. you can absorb it. Okay. So this is about getting the timing down then, yes, you would say? because these bombs are bad. Bad news. Yeah, right, that, that was, was not, not the timing. timing. That was Because not... magic does a lot of damage. Right. Oh, but you hit your, you hit your friend. I swear to God, he literally ran in front of me. Oh, wildfire, you can't block that. So I just need to dodge just out of the way of that. Dodge out of that way of that, yeah. Oh, he's just aiming for my friend now, right? Okay. Just kill him. Just, just kill his chaos. Oh, well. oh he's gonna get. Oh, get him, get him, get him. Circle, circle. Yes. Look at he picks oh, him up and he fucking hell? crushes him with his hands. That is violent. That is so badass. Pick up his panties. Twilight trousers. Oh, yes. yes. I can sparkle even more now. You can sparkle, sparkle. Let me just uh... equip those pantaloons. That's oh, I don't have enough points your... to do anything. In yeah, the... battle settings, though, remember? I know, I was just... You're going saying. in the wrong... Uh... No, because I, I got points as well, so... All right, did it say job level up? Yeah. Oh, yeah, but remember you needed two for your next one. Yeah. Right, that, yeah, you, had gl- you had gloves you hadn't equipped yet. Oh, really? Yeah. Well seen. I mean, well spotted. Well, the yellow uh, yellow little marker, I tell you, you can you... Have equipment. their shadow guards, their chaos guards. Chaos guards. Your drop rate increases by 1.5%, so you get more chaos guards. Um, well, guys, that was uh, episode one. I think we're going to do a little playthrough of this because it's quite interesting. It's it's uh it's not like any Final Fantasy game I've ever seen. It's definitely, I mean, I think you can all see it's very Dark Souls inspired. Um, but I think there's, there's a lot more to see. So c- catch you next time for more killing chaos. Killing chaos. Thanks for watching. Bye.